Let's take a look at graphs of exponential functions on HP Prime Calculator. And we'll take a look at our first one here. Okay, so we got y is equal to e to the x minus 2 plus 3. And we want to graph it. Okay, from your apps menu, if you're not at your apps, you can press your apps button to get here. You want to choose function, so highlight it and press enter. And uh, we want E. Now, E on your calculator, um, you see the LN button? That's natural log. Um, it says E to the X there. So to get to that, we do shift and then the LN. And you'll see it puts E and then uh, your cursor sitting up there in exponent. So then we'll do X minus 2. You have to press your right arrow key to get it out of exponent before you put in your plus 3. And then press enter. And now if we press plot, that's going to give us our graph. And um, it's something like that right there. More or less. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at our second one. We've got y is equal 3 to the x. Well, I'm going to go back to my uh, symbol. Um, and then I'll press my backspace to wipe that out. I'll do 3, and then I'll push my X to the Y button. And then I'll put an X in. Now, if we have anything else after that, we have to make sure we press our right arrow key to get it out of exponent mode. And then press Enter. And then we want to do our plot to graph it. And that's what our graph would look like. So something like that. Okay, let's look at this last one here. y is equal to 2 to the x plus 1 minus 4. Typically, on other calculators, if you have more than a single number or a single variable in your exponent, you have to put parentheses around the exponent when you plug it in. Now, we won't have to do that on this calculator, and we'll see why. If I go back to my symbol, um, backspace, if I do 2 and then I press my x to the y, I'm sitting up there in exponent mode, so now it's ready for me to put in x plus 1. While you don't have to use parentheses on this calculator, you had, do have to press your right arrow key to get it out of exponent mode before you put in the minus 4. And then press enter. And now if we press plot, that'll give us our graph. Which looks something like that right there. And that would be how you graph uh, exponential uh, functions on your HP Prime graphing calculator.